Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this nice and fluffy twist out featuring the ORS Curls Unleashed Color Blast in Sangria. So, I'm a redhead for today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it. And leave a comment below if you have any questions. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more hair tutorials and routines from me. So, let's get straight into this video. So this is the ORS Color Blast in Sangria and I'm just giving you a little swatch on the back of my hand here. It's more of a burgundy, autumn vibes kind of red. So I'm starting off with washed and conditioned hair. My hair is sectioned in four already because that's how I wash my hair. I've got my wash day routine up on my channel if you want to go check that video out. And then I'm taking the Curls Unleashed Shea Butter and Honey Curly Coil Rich Style Cream and I apply it all over the section. I really do like this product. As you can see, it's really nice and thick. It's like a whipped butter almost. It's very moisturizing and it felt really nice going on to my hair. I used the leave-in conditioner last time, but I needed more moisture for my products because I'm not using the oil in this routine. It's supposed to give you less shrinkage, this product, but I don't feel like it actually does. I don't think any elongating products actually work, <laughs> to be honest. I'm just not really sure how it would work really and then i'm taking the ors olive oil fortifying cream hairdress and i'm applying that all over my hair as well i really do love this product guys um it's very moisturizing and i actually won this product from an ors giveaway on instagram and this is the first time i was using it in my hair and i think i actually will buy this again i think it would be perfect for your braid outs your twist outs or any style really it just gives that extra moisture and especially because I'm not using the oil, as I said, I really wanted to use moisturizing products in this routine. So I'll go with the Curls Unleashed Rich Style Cream and then I'll go on top with the ORS hairdress. And I do that with each section before I put in the hair wax. Once I'm done putting in the products in each section, I just do a rough twist to um, get the hair out of the way. The first section that I did, I put the wax in straight after and then I realised that I had to go wash my hands before I put my hands in the product. So instead I put the rich style cream and the hairdress on first and then I went in with the wax afterwards. And I am applying the products quite liberally because I'm not using a gel in this routine either or a holding product because the wax is supposed to have some hold to it so I didn't want to add too much hold and then have trouble um, separating my curls when it came to taking down the twists. And now I'm putting in the hair wax. I'm applying it liberally to the ends of my hair and I'm working the product upwards because I wanted to have an ombre effect. I didn't actually use too much of the product but the colour payoff was still very vibrant. I think I was blindsided by how sunny it was in my house when I was recording. So the product was really shining on my hair. So I couldn't really judge how much product was in my hair. Because the product does show up a lot more in the sun and in the lights that I have to record as well. It's really bright compared to what it looks like in normal light. I was so annoyed on that day because the sun was shining so bright through my windows that it was actually making my video come up quite dark. So I had to cut out quite a lot of the video because it was dark. So I won't be recording in daylight ever again. <laughs> Usually I record in the night time, so I probably will stick to that. The product is made out of beeswax, so um, I was having this residue on my hands, so I've got this warm in the house. I felt like it was melting the product in my hands because it was leaving like a sticky residue. I don't know if it was the mixture of products, because I didn't get this sticky residue feeling on my fingers when I used the dragon fruit one. So I'm not really too sure why, but yes, it wasn't that much of a problem. It did wash off my hands with ease. So for this twist towel, I only used eight sections and I actually regret doing this because I had to separate my curls. And if I had known that the product wasn't going to give me as much hold as, as I was expecting, I probably would have put my hair in smaller twists so that I didn't have to separate them as much so I can get more definition. But if you want to reduce the amount of frizz that you have, make sure you do smaller sections. So you don't have to do much separation. So probably when I do it again, I'll do it with more twists. Once I put the wax in, I go ahead and take my Denman brush and I brush my hair out. Because with a twist out, you want to make sure that your hair is properly detangled or else you're not going to get your desired results. And as I'm twisting down, I make sure to brush it out as well to make sure the rest of my hair is detangled as well. And once I finish a twist, I just go ahead and finger coil the ends. So I just continue to do that all over my hair and on the top section I did do a flat twist 
and again the sunshine ruined my video <laughs> so I cut that part out because it was really dark but I will be doing more twist out videos in the near future so I'll just do another video So that's all the twists done. This is what my hair is looking like so far. And then I'm using some perm rods on the ends of my hair just to curl the ends. Just because I feel like it gives my hair a more uniform look once the twists come down. As I mentioned in my other review, I tend not to use oils when I'm using the waxes because I feel like that's when you get the most transfer when you use the oil. So these products were very, very moisturising. So I feel like they gave me the same effects that I would have had if I did use the oil. So I did get a lot more transfer on my hands this time round compared to when I used the dragon fruit one. So I'm not really too sure how to go about it from here. It's either you get a really crunchy hold or you have transfer. And then I'm just showing you guys how I would wear my hair scarf at night. I just wrap the head scarf around my head and leaving it to drape over the twists. And then I'm just readjusting the twist so that it's not getting squished down. But after I did the video, I just took the headscarf off and let it air dry for the day. And then obviously put the headscarf on at night. So this is the next day. It's been more than 24 hours and my hair is 100% dry. So here I just take out the perm rods and I begin to unravel my hair. I begin by finger coiling in the opposite direction that I did before and I also unravel the twist in the opposite direction that I twist in as well. So I just hold one of the strands and then unravel the other one around it. And at this point I'm really loving the definition, <laughs> like the definition looks unreal right now. But as soon as I start to take this out, literally we just hit frizz city. <laughs> So you don't want to take down your twists if they're damp. They have to be 100% dry because your hair will just revert and it will just frizz up. So when I do my twists out or my braid outs with damp hair, um, it dries literally completely in one day, probably less than one day. So it's perfect if you need it for the next day. You can just do your twists or your braid out in the morning and it'll be ready for you the next day. So I went in with my afro pit before I started unraveling just because I didn't want to cause as much frizz. So I just went ahead and did that and then I separated each strand into two and I was having a little bit of a struggle with the ends of my hair where the wax was on my hair most. It had a little bit of a crunch on the ends which didn't help with the separation process at all. <laughs> I literally needed to like pull it apart but um, I actually didn't mind the fluffiness of this braid out and, and the colour just made it even more beautiful honestly. Really love this burgundy colour. I'll definitely, definitely be using this one again. I've never actually dyed my hair red before. I've only ever dyed my ends blonde. Totally regret that by the way. <laughs> and for the areas that are a little bit too frizzy, I just go ahead and finger coil them to try and bring some uniform back to them. And then I just go ahead and fluff out my roots, um, mainly where the partings are, just so that they're not visible. So I didn't use a holding product in this routine just because I thought the hair wax would give me the hold that I needed because in my last video it did give me a lot of hold with my wash and go so I would suggest to use another holding product like a gel or a mousse if you're going to do a twist out using these waxes and these are my end results and I'm loving it I'm loving it loving it loving it I also did my edges off camera using the ORS edge control and then I'm taking a little bit more of that hairdress and applying it at my roots just because I have new hair growth there because of my postpartum hair fall. Once again I do recommend these hair waxes to any curly girl who just wants to change up their look once in a while. It's nice to have a change sometimes, you know with having your hair natural it can get a little bit boring, a little bit tedious and this just helps to bring that fun back, you know. I thought I put on a black shirt just to show you guys the colour first of all but also I wanted to show you guys the transfer that might occur on my shoulders and there was a little bit of a red shimmer on my shoulders so it will transfer on your clothes even the dragon fruit one it, it did transfer on my clothes a little bit first of all it's a beeswax and second of all it's mica powder or mica powder however you pronounce it I don't know if they can actually make a formula that's not going to transfer but if you're planning on going somewhere and you want to use these waxes 
I'll suggest to do an updo. And it actually really looks really nice in the updo. I did a bun and it looked so gorgeous. And here I'm showing you how I put my hair up when I'm going to my bed. As usual, I put my hair up into a pineapple and then I scrunch the curls up into my hair scarf and then I tuck that excess fabric under. But yeah guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also, leave any comments below if you have any questions about these hair waxes. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!